everyone. Big Pooley back for some Blu-ray Monday shopping. Hi everyone, Big Pooley back for some Wednesday Blu-ray shopping. Oh yes. Oh, we're going to go out. We're going to go out and we're going to do some shopping. Oh yes, I can feel it in my water. Yeah. I can feel it in my bones as well. I feel it in my fingers. Oh dear. Rightio. Okie dokie. Let's get out there. Have a look. See what's out this week. I know Hellboy is out. The new one with David Abbo. And also Wonder Park and Dragged Across Some Concrete. I don't know why they just don't drag them across some grass. Anyway, first stop, we're going to hit up mcdonald's because i want bloody coffee it's nearly 10 o'clock in the morning don't know i might get myself a breakfast wrap i haven't had any breakfast yet anyway i'll think about it on the way there uh <laughs> yes so we're gonna hit tesco's sainsbury's hmv and according to my buddy lewis who lives down the westwood Crathway, who i sometimes meet up with the cafe all of a sudden, he's German. <laughs> what is your name? Yes, um, yes, it's Poundland. Poundland apparently have had a new delivery on Monday, uh, and there could be up to like six boxes of new titles. And it's Wednesday; they're probably all bloody gone. But we're gonna go and have a look anyway. So let's stop this rambling, man, and get on the road to our first stop. Uh, which will be Sainsbury's. Yes, well, I'm going to go and get some coffee first at McDonald's. But I'll see you down Sainsbury's in two shakes of a daffodil's bumhole. <laughs> Okay, so we are down at Westwood Cross. First stop of the day. Sainsbury's. Let's go in and have a look and see what they've got. Okay, so there's nothing at the top of the escalator, but we do have Heroes, whatever this is, sticker albums. Okay, just as I was coming up the escalator and just coming into the centre of the, the top piece where the sticker albums were, some old bloke was just looking and came up to me and goes, why are you videoing sticker albums? Old people. Let's go over to the Blu-rays. Okay, so we're at the Blu-ray chart. Okie dokie, so we have Hellboy. Blu-ray and digital download. Ready to raise hell. For £15. Uh, is that it? I think that's it. Yeah, I wouldn't have thought that Sainsbury's would have dragged across concrete. I thought they might have Wonder Park though. Yeah. But they haven't got the 4K. It seems the, same, the uh, supermarkets don't have the 4K of Hellboy. Uh, let's have a look, see what else we've got here. We've got Chernobyl here, and the, we've got the 4K of a litre for £25. Plus that X Men collection there for £20 as well. I'm not seeing anything else okay over on the DVD chart looks like they've sold out of Hellboy £10 uh, we do have Red Joan with Judy Dench based on a true story that one but it's, uh, some lady that was selling secrets I think to the Russians Wonder Park that looks actually fun there is no 3D for this, unfortunately, but it does look good. I think this is going to be one that I'm going to see with Claire. We also have Wild Rose as well. 
but unfortunately there's no UK Blu-ray release for this so the best you can hope for is either the DVD or iTunes where it will be in HD for I think 10 quid, 10 quid as well and we also have Dragged Across Concrete as well on DVD obviously no Blu-ray for some reason what else have we got down here so all of these from last week and the week before uh, okay we've got Little from the producer of Girls Trip and Night School okay £10 Batman Family Matters bonus includes a Lego Mini Ultimate Batmobile oh that looks interesting eight quid and then Guardian of the oh for crying out loud Guardian Guardian of the Galaxy meets the room that is gonna be crap Guardian of the Universe please oh dear uh, Unknown Soldier, based on the best-selling novel. That actually looks, looks quite good. I like it when these DVDs come out with these really nice covers and you get gold foil and everything like that. It's a shame we can't get a Blu-ray copy of this. I don't know, the film looks actually not that bad. But that's £8. And then we've got those ones from last week. Uh, I'm not seeing anything else. Yeah, that's mainly it, I think, on the uh, Sainsbury's side of it. Uh, one thing that I did see here is Weird Science. The Arrow release, the recent Arrow release that I picked up, is actually now available in the 2 for 25. So that joins the other Arrow releases that they've got here. Although these are 3 for 20. Okay, over on the TV chart, uh, what is new? These are all from last week. I think Death in Paradise season, series one to five, that's new. 40 episodes for 30 pounds. We have the complete series one to six, French and Saunders, 20 pounds. The Musketeers, the complete collection. I don't think I ever saw that. No, I'm pretty sure I didn't. That's £20. And we also have, sorry, don't apologise. Uh, <laughs> the complete series with uh, Ronnie Corbett. I used to watch this. This is a great show. A really great show. And that's uh, £30. There is a space for Blake 7 DVD box set. 40 quid but obviously it's quite popular it's sold out and we've got some Doctor Who collections here as well for £12 each and uh, these ones are all like from last week that I went uh, through on the last video okay so still lacking in some 4k stuff we haven't even got Hellboy on 4K, but hopefully we'll see that in HMV. But apparently there's a couple of different sleeves going around. There's a regular one that's in like Amazon and all other places. And then you've got an HMV exclusive one as well. So go and have a look at that. But uh, yeah, there's only a very few 4Ks in here, such as Captain Marvel, Dumbo and Alita. So unfortunately, uh, they're not really selling 4Ks anymore, in mainly in Sainsbury's. But uh, we'll go and have a look at Tesco's as well. But let's go down to our next stop, which will be... Let's go and have a look in Poundland. Oh, yes, baby, and see if there's some boxes of goodies. Thought I'd take the scenic route rather than going through the shopping complex today and just walk around it to get to Poundland. And I'll show you how close Sainsbury's actually is to the Tesco's down here. Okay, so we've got Westwood Cross down there all this wasteland we have Sainsbury's petrol station and then we have McDonald's over there and then right down the bottom there I'll zoom in there we have Tesco's extra 
so it's within walking distance I always tend to drive though because I'm a lazy bastard but on days like this when your foot's not hurting too bad it's always nice to do a nice little bit of walking so we're gonna go to the end of this orange border thing down here and turn left and we'll be down there at uh, Poundland down there somewhere so let's go to Poundland okay so we're almost there just beyond the bushes and the trees it's Poundland just over there let's go and have a look see what they've got okay I can see lots of blu-rays plus loads of boxes so let's have a look through see what we've got we've got I Franken Frankenstein uh, we've got the Hercules I still haven't seen the 3d one in the stores yet I can only find the 2d one what's this uh, nothing but the truth okay we've got some bad mums mm, Hunger Games catching fire with a nice embossed slip haven't seen that one in here before We've got some minions, monuments, men, spy. Oh, people versus Larry Flint. Okay, never seen that film actually. White House Down. I've definitely never seen that one in Poundland before. So that's pretty good. I'm surprised we haven't seen The Olympus Has Fallen as well. Uh, Money Monster with George Clooney. Yeah, that's a new one. Haven't seen that one before. Kill Bill, Kick Ass. Mixed in with the uh, the general stuff that we uh, see week in, week out. Some Despicable Me there. Arthur, the host. Ted, Lion. Yeah. Don't Breathe, which I've already picked up. Vengeance. The Purge. Life without a slip. And what else have we got up here? Small Bad Mums, Mission Impossible. There's a life there with a slip. Okay, don't know what that is. Uh, Noah. Yeah, okay. Oh, Scorpion King. Fantastic. Right, let's have a look, see what we got in the boxes then. First box. Okie dokie, I can already see some new titles in here. Let's have a look through. Starman, wow. Okay, I need that to add to my uh, John Carpenter collection. And we've got Unchained with Adrian Brody and Banderas. I've not heard of that one before. And Train Spotting T2 with a slip. Fantastic. Star Trek. Oh, this is like a little collection of episodes, like a selection of episodes. It's not bad, I haven't seen that one in here before. Glory, well, that's got a really nice slip as well. Lots of gold embossing. That's a new one for Poundland. Ah, oh, it's Bobby. I've already bought that, I bought that full price, bug of it. And we've got Smurfs, The Lost Village. Okay, let's have a look, see what we've got in the next box. Bit of a mixture really, new and old. Yeah, we've got Brotherhood there, the Butler, Minions, Let Me In. Oh, Chloe Grace Moretz. This is one film of hers I haven't seen. I might pick that one up. All right, let's see if we can get the next box. Up you go. Okay, third box. Southpaw there, uh, nothing but the truth, Hansel and Gretel, Startup Status Quo, nice, some X-Men, Wonders of the Universe, Solar System, okay, not much in that box, next box, uh, what we got, Endless Love, we've got Runner Runner, Ghostbusters, 22 Jump Street, a oh, bit of everything really, Death Race, Hercules. Okay. Let's get the next box then. Okay. What's this? Fourth box, I think? Night before, yeah. 
afterlife resident evil i've seen a couple of resident evils this is the final chapter but there's been an afterlife as well uh, oh dear me taxi driver wow i've been looking for this one with a slip as well and monster house 3d as well fantastic okay i think this might be the last box of blu-rays up the top a bit of a mixture here with Noah. Oh, no, yeah. We've got another box as well. So, Fast and Furious, yeah. Fantastic. Okay, so there was actually a little bit more than six boxes. I think it was like 10 boxes. I think a few of them was DVD, maybe one or two of them was DVD, but a lot of good titles in there. A few that I didn't pick up that maybe I should have, but uh, in the end I picked up eight titles. Whoa, that's a good shop, and I'm really happy with the ones I picked up as well. So I'll show you those at the end of the video. But now let's go and have a look in HMV. Oh my lord, lordy, 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 who said physical media was dead, blimey.
uh, 13. 13 pickups so far, plus two that I need to show you from the weekly mailing. So we're on, what are we on, 15? 15, wow, and we haven't even done Tesco's yet. Oh, wow, okay. Tesco's, I've seen, has got a kind of like a bargain bin, lots of Blu-rays for three pound and five pound. I don't know if this store has, or if it's just maybe some other stores, but we are going to check it, and uh, we'll go and have a look to see what Tesco's has got. Yeah, oh yes, and I picked something up from TK Maxx as well, which only had one, and I've been to like three TK Maxx stores, and finally I found what I wanted to pick up. But I shall show you that at the end of the video with all the other goodies as well. Right, okay, let's get over to Tesco's and have a look, see if there's anything else we can pick up today. <laughs> Money, <laughs> yeah, who needs it? Oh crap, gotta go back to bloody HMV. Oh God. Okay, so we're at our next destination, Tesco's. Let's go in and have a look, see if they've got anything interesting. Okay, so we're at the Blu-ray in the DVD section, and where's all the 4Ks? Blimey, there's only a few 4Ks left. We do have one copy of Hellboy, though, for £20, and I think I'll probably pick that one up rather than the HMV, because I've got a £6 Tesco voucher to use, so I could pick up Hellboy 4K, <laughs> for 14 quid. That's mine. What else have we got? Okay, we also have the standard Blu-ray here with a slip. And we also have Wonder Park for 15 pounds. Both Pet Cemetery and Shazam are both in the two for 25 already. But I mean, they don't waste any time these days, do they? And us is in the two for 25 as well. Uh, here on the DVD section, we have Hellboy with a really nice slip. I like this slip. It's a shame the Blu-ray hasn't got this image on it. I actually prefer this one on the DVD. Plus we also have Wonder Park here as well for 10 pounds. And little, Red Joan and Dragged Across Concrete. We have Wild Rose. I really do want this, but I don't know whether to pick it up on DVD. I mean, it's like going backwards, isn't it? Picking it up on DVD. Of course, we've got the big one back in September, September the 2nd. But have we got anything down here? I don't know what this is down here for five pounds. Oh, the Prodigy. Yeah, let's have a look, see if we've got anything over on the uh, the weird stuff. I just call it the weird stuff these days, because you never know what you're going to find here. Lancaster Skies. Don't think there's anything new. I think that's about it. Yeah, that's about it, I think. Of course, all those 4Ks removed from the shelf, it'd be nice if they've just taken them all and put them in some big bargain bin and they were selling them for five quid each. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen, but I'm going to have a good bloody look around just in case. Right, let's have a look around here and uh, see what else we can find. Okay, well, I haven't found any bargain bins or anything, so I think that's about it for the Blu-rays and the DVDs and Tesco's. So I'm just going to go and get a cup of coffee in the cafe and do a bit of editing. And then uh, we'll move on to our next destination. I'm going to have a think where we're going next. Yes, I'm going to go and get a coffee. Okay. 
Okay, so we are done in Tesco's. Bit of a mishmash with the old Blu-rays. I don't know what they're doing, actually. Uh, there's a lot of 4Ks that have been removed from the shelf, so maybe they're following the same suit as Sainsbury's and finding that they're not selling many, even in the 2 for 30. So they're just dumping them from stores. Who knows? But uh, I'll certainly keep an eye on this Tesco's and also the one in Dover as well, because they have the same spread for 4Ks. Um, Tesco's are now in my good books again. Did you see that fish and chips? Blimey. <laughs> I've had fish and chips from Tesco's before, the Dover branch. Yeah, the one that never has any food in. Uh, and this is the first time I've had fish and chips down here at this one down at Westwood Cross. That was bloody lovely. That was bloody. That was one of the loveliest fish and chips I've had in many years. The cod, it was crispy, batter, loads of batter, just crispiness. The chips were lovely, just cooked right, nice crispy edge to them. There was even a surplus amount of tartar sauce, which I love to spread all over my cod. <laughs> Sounds bloody rude, that does, doesn't it? Yes, that was a lovely fish and chips for about six pounds, six pounds fifty. So, Tesco's. You've won my heart again. Now don't break it. Right, okay, right. Let's get on to our next stop then. I think we're done down here at Westwood Cross. I just need to put some fuel in the car. You don't want to run out of fuel halfway on the way home. And um, I think our next stop will be both the Poundland and the Entertainer toy store back in Dover at St James. I want to check out the Entertainer again to see if they've got any more of those retro Star Wars figures to see if they've maybe had a few more in. But anyway, let's get uh, some petrol, get back to Dover and uh, we'll pop into the next stop which will be Poundland. Blimey, if we find some Blu-rays in Poundland in Dover it's going to be like Poundland overload today. Wow, that would make up for the last couple of weeks, wouldn't it? Of getting nothing from Westwood Cross. Okie dokie. Right, I'll see you back in Dover shortly then. Okay, so we're at our next stop, which is Poundland here at St James. Let's pop in and have a look, see if they've had any new deliveries of Blu-rays. Oh, glorious Blu-rays unboxes. Okay, let's have a look, see what we've got up here then. So we've got the host. Oh, zombie. Yeah, we'll leave that one there. What else have we got? Uh, oh, train spotting too. Yeah, they've definitely had a new delivery in then. That wasn't here last time. Uh, hereditary there. Jane got a gun with a slip. Her bad mums. Still a few copies of Fifty Shades. We've got Lockout at the top there. Good film with Guy Pearce. What else have we got? Uh, safe, Die Hard, 4.0. Uh, Sucker Punch. Wow, I love that film, Sucker Punch. Okay, let's have a look at the uh, the boxes then. See what we can find. Okay, we've got Transformers, Green Zone, due, due Date. Okay, a few bits in there. And let's get the next box. Oh, what we got? Minions, Che, Last Exorcism, Paul, Da Vinci Code, Siege. Up you go, and next box, Minions, Informant. Yeah, same, same sort of stuff in there. And we got another box. Yep. World is not enough. Another Jane got a gun. Lock out there, Ghostbusters and Minions. Another box, Romeo and Juliet, Starman, Flatliners. There's a Public Enemy Steel book as well. Fantastic. Okay, blimey. Another pickup. Six titles. Blimey. Uh, there weren't any more Star Wars figures in the Entertainer. So I'm just going to dump these into the car. I'm just going to pop along to the 
British Heart Foundation and have a look see if they've got anything in there. Then back to the car and I shall show you what I've picked up. Probably about 25 titles today. Holy crap. Yeah, great, thanks. Okay, so back from the shops. I was going to show you what I picked up in the car, but I was running quite late at the uh, the parking meter, so I didn't want to overthink it. Okay, so the first thing I want to show is something from TK Maxx that I was made aware of. Yes, so I've been in about three TK Maxx stores, couldn't find it. I uh, went in the one day in Westwood Cross, there it was. £12.99, framed picture of Ralph McQueary's original artwork. Fantastic. was looking everywhere for this, so I'm going to find a nice place for that. All nice and framed with an inner frame as well, you know, a mount, so that's really nice. I'm happy that I've actually maybe uh, been able to get hold of that now. Right, okay, let's get onto the Blu-rays. I think actually there's about 25-ish to go through. <sighs> Blimey. Right, okay, so uh, I'm gonna go through the DVD first that I picked up this week. <laughs> yes, I picked up a DVD. I found this for three pound in Asda. Uh, I was originally going to bring, uh, pick it up a couple of weeks ago, but I thought it was £7, I think, at the time. So I, at the time, I was hoping that it was going to be reduced, and it was reduced to three quid. The real-life inspiration behind the hit film Fighting With My Family, which I've got, which I haven't seen yet. Page. Iconic matches. So I'm looking forward to actually watching this because I don't really know anything about her. Um be interesting to actually watch her in action, the inspiration, before I actually go and watch the film. And I believe both her and the rest of her family uh, are doing a signing and photo session near my uh, town. I think it's in Deal, to either towards the end of the year or early next year. And they're also doing a, a display, uh, a wrestling match and that kind of stuff. So I'm going to see if I can get tickets for that. But yes, iconic matches page. So that's not bad for £3. I'm glad I didn't pick it up for 7 I uh, got home just now, found an envelope. Um, it's got some really nice good stamps on it. It's got Hulk and Spider-Man. Blimey, I bet hold on to the Spider-Man, it'd be worth something. <laughs> right, okay. I think I know what this is. If it is, um, I've, then I've probably got two today because I've probably picked up the same. I might have. So let's have a look. This was very, if it is what I think it is, it's very kindly sent by one of my viewers. Yes, it is. Okie doke. Fantastic. Okay, so... Got a little note. Hi, Big Pooly. Uh, please find enclosed the still book. Keep up the great work. Enjoy, Kevin Fudge. Thank you very much, Kevin. Really appreciated. Um, it's sod's law that I actually picked this up today <laughs> because I've never seen it in any of my um, Poundlands. Uh, it is a bit dented, unfortunately. Yeah, so. It's a bit dented up the top there. I don't know if you can see. It's not a lot, but but uh, yeah, thanks very much. I really appreciate it. Um, I don't know if it is a steel book though, because it's got hinges. It's got hinges. Isn't this like an iron pack or a, a metal pack or something? I don't know. I don't know why it's got hinges. Anyway, so that's Public Enemies. And next, I'm going to go through 
some Blu-rays that I picked up from the British Heart Foundation. They actually had maybe about 10, uh, 10 Blu-rays. They had an absolute crap load of DVDs uh, over on the wall. A lot of good stuff as well. Kind of rareish stuff. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't get much video because the guy was giving me the evil eye. So I might uh, have a word with the manager there and see if I can get pre-permission to to film in there. But they've got a lot of they've got a lot of media in there. Okay, and I checked all of these ones. And he actually said when I picked these three Blu-rays up, he goes, "Did you check the discs are okay?" I've never been asked that in a charity shop, so brilliant, well done. Right, first one, uh, don't really know too much about it. Uh, I don't know who Laura Haddock is. She, <laughs> that's a very fishy name. But Noel Clark, he was in Doctor Who. Uh, their, will their first contact be their last? It's called Storage 24. <laughs> no idea. It's something to do with a military cargo plane crashing in London, scattering its highly classified contents across the city. Sounds intriguing. Yeah, so, okay. Uh, this was one, one pound. All the Blu-rays in there were one pound. Uh, this one, I'll pick this up. Um, I think I might have heard of this one before. Never seen it, though. It's starring... John Cusack and Thomas Jane. Drive hard. Drive soft? No, nope, drive hard. Oh, that's Thomas Jane. Looks very good. One hell of a ride. A fast and violent criminal road trip. Get in, get out, get even. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> I can't say much because I don't know anything about it, but uh, looks intriguing. Uh, and this one is a Curzon Artificial Eye, a film by Andrew Hay. I really didn't know what to make of this. I didn't know if it was going to be one of these really weird arty farty things, but I was looking at the cast. Um, Travis fin Finnail or Fimmel, I don't know. Charlie Plummer. I'm not sure who that is. I don't know if that's any relation to Christopher Plummer. But it's got Steve Buscemi and Chloe Sevigny. I think it is. From the acclaimed director of Weekend and 45 Years. It's called Lean on Pete. Lean on Pete. When you're... Yeah, not that. Um, emotional epic masterpiece. Charlie Plummer gives an excellent performance. Watchful, sensitive, delicate. I don't know if it's maybe a coming of age thing or something like that, but um, yeah, but um, it's a quid. We'll give it a shot. Uh, let's do the main titles. So, of course, the main title of this week is, of course, Hellboy. And I didn't go for the HMV one uh, because I had I still had a six pound voucher for Tesco's. So I went for that one. The only one on the shelf, thank God. Uh, so I picked up the Hellboy, Hellboy 4K for £14, which you can't say any better than that. Haven't seen the film. I'm looking forward to watching it, though. Uh, next one I picked up is a, a good animated movie from what I can tell. I've seen the trailer. I messaged the trailer over to Claire, said we need to watch this on one of our movie nights. And um, she agreed totally because we love our animated movies. And it's a real shame this never came uh, with 3D. And I've just noticed that Mila Kunis is in it. Well, provides the voice anyway. Plus Jennifer Garner, Matthew Broderick and John Oliver. Wonder Park. So I suppose it's going to be kind of like, what, Disney animated. <laughs> Disneyland. <laughs> kind of like a Disneyland or Thought Park type of thing. But uh, it does look a lot of fun. Wonder Park. No slip, but that's no problem. Uh, next one I picked up was um, one of the reduced ones. It was £9.99 
with any purchase or 20 quid and it's the 30th anniversary edition and this is the one I had to take back because it had still had the security tag on it and it's dark crystal uh, with a new series coming out on Netflix I thought let's get the original watch it get back into it and then we'll you know we'll get ready for the for the new series the exciting new series really looking forward to it so yes that was £9.99 for a 4k fantastic 4k's I'm doing pretty good with 4k's today so I've paid 9 99 for one 4k and 14 quid for another 4k okay uh the last main pickup of this week uh, is from the writer and director of Bone Tomahawk and Brawl in Cell Blocks 99, both of which I've now got in my collection. Uh, this one is called Dragged Across Concrete. Um, it looks kind of like a, a buddy buddy cop movie, like a bit like a violent, like lethal weapon or lethal weapon, that sort of thing, with Vince Vaughn and, would you believe, Mel Gibson. So yeah, it does look good. Um, I might actually do just like a, a trilogy watch. Maybe put all three of them on in one day. If I can stay awake, that is. But yes, I'm looking forward to watching that. And this was, I think this was in the two for, two for 20. It was either 14 99 or two for 20. So I picked that. And then I also picked out another Arrow release which was also in the 2 for 20 and that's the Andromeda Strain <laughs> yes um, I haven't seen this for many 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 years so I am looking forward to watching it it's a Robert Wise production starring Arthur Hill David Wayne James Olsen and Kate Reed oh, do you know what I'm not familiar with any of those names it's terrible isn't it but uh, I am looking forward to watching the Andromeda Strain. I probably saw that when I was about 10, actually. So I picked that up for tenner, and I picked up Dragged Across Concrete for tenner as well. Um, a couple of pickups this week, or a couple of deliveries this week. I had Brightburn delivered uh, from a guy on eBay. I know it's out in the UK, it's out in the UK in October, and I was kind of like eager to watch it. So I paid a little bit extra just to get it really enjoyed it i really enjoyed it um it's evil superman it's kind of like evil superman mixed with the omen and this is the other one that was delivered from amazon i couldn't get this in hmv because hmv don't have a contract with eureka ka, ka. yeah <laughs> we've done that before um so i had to order this one on amazon and luckily it was uh, delivered in a couple of days Kurt Russell and uh, Jack Warden in used cars, which I've never seen, but it looks a barrel of laughs about a couple of used cars, uh, used cars dealers. It really does look funny. And the last main one is another still book. Uh, and this was sent to me by one of my viewers, as well as a load of lovely artwork back here, as you can see. The Matrix 4K still book fantastic so haven't put that on yet but uh, I'm going to open that up make sure it's all all right but uh, I love the Matrix and apparently they've just announced Matrix 4 don't know if that's going to be a good thing or not it'd be kind of like the same as oh, we were at the end of Toy Story 3 and they said let's do Toy Story 4 and everybody was like no don't <laughs> okay right let's get on to the Poundlands this is the other one then that I picked up. This is the other Public Enemies. So I've got two copies of this, so I'll probably give one of these away. But thank you for sending me that one for the for the mail, Kevin. Um, quite a good spread in Poundland, actually. Both Poundlands. Both had a full block on the shelf. Loads of titles mixed in. And boxes, there was like 10 boxes on one store, four boxes on another store. Really good. Um, I might even try Folkestone's uh, Poundland and maybe Canterbury's within the next couple of days. Uh, we might be able to pick up some extra titles. But um, some really good titles from Poundland, which I've never seen in the stores before. Uh, this one, I'm actually going to add this one to my John Carpenter. 
a Carpenter's Tale movie review series that I'm going to restart uh, at the beginning of September. Jeff Bridges, Starman. Fantastic. I haven't seen this for many years. Uh, is it Karen Allen that's in it as well? Yes, it is. It's Karen Allen. Jeff Bridges and Karen Allen. Fantastic. So I'm looking forward to watching that again. And that would be good to actually review that as part of the series. Next one, I picked up a really nice Blu-ray. Um, also another film I haven't seen for quite a while. Winner of three Academy Awards. Matthew Broderick and Denzel Washington. A special edition, Glory. And this comes in a really nice slip with lots of gold embossing. Looks really nice. I haven't seen this for many years. Lots of special features as well featured in there. Yeah, really looking forward to watching this one again. This is long, isn't it? Oh, 122 minutes. So that's only short, t just over two hours. For some reason, I thought Glory was about four hours long. Or am I thinking of something else? But yes, looking forward to watching that one again. Uh, another war film. Uh, I really do like this film. This is an extended edition. Uh, the extended cut. And this is Mel Gibson in The Patriot. I've always liked this film. And uh, it's also got Heath Ledger as well. And I believe Jason Isaacs. So really good cast. It's one. Of, I think it's one of the older releases. Because of the layout. You can tell by the layout on the back. Fantastic. And they put that experience high definition along the bottom. Like it's a new thing. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, uh, got to pick up a 3D. Uh, I saw this featured in someone's video a couple of days ago. Um, I think it was Blue View. Might have been, I'm not sure. But uh, yes, I've never seen this film, but I'm glad I've picked this up. And I'm glad I picked this up in 3D. Monster House. And it comes with a clear case as well, surprisingly. So yes, Monster House. Apparently this is a really good film. So I'm going to experience it in 3D, of course. Wow, okay. I knew this was starting to do the rounds, this one. But uh, I didn't think that I was actually going to find it down here uh, in my area. And it is a film. I know it's a film that I've never seen. And a lot of people may be shocked by that. But then I've never seen The Shining either, have I? 40th Anniversary Edition. Robert De Niro, taxi driver, with a nice slip. Fantastic. And, taxi driver, fantastic. It's got a whole host of special features down there. Wow, for £2. Some of these are pre-owned, fully refurbished. But uh, the slip's in mint condition. So, yes, looking forward to finally seeing Taxi Driver, because, like I say, I've never seen it. Uh, next one I picked up. Um, it's a film that came out from the director of Cloverfield and stars a very young actress at the time. A new standard for vampire movies. It is one of her early films that I never saw. So I'm interested to see just how maybe chilling it is or not just a horror film, but the best American horror film in the last 20 years, apparently. Let me in. We have Chloe Grace Moretz. I love Chloe Grace Moretz. She's fantastic in everything. Um, but yeah, this is an early one. I haven't seen her in this at all. She kind of like kick-ass age, I think. May I think maybe she did this maybe before Kick-Ass. I'm not sure. Or maybe in between Kick-Ass 1 and 2. Next one uh, is another film I've not heard of. But it's from the producers of The Expendables... One and two, London has fallen and shoot them up. So that should be a good film then, if it's from the producers of all, all that lot. It also stars John Malkovich, Antonio Banderas, and Adrian Brody. Unchained, gripping, edgy, powerful. One last score, one wrong move, no way out. So yes, interesting. Never heard of it, but uh, worth a shot. And I picked this up as a big sleeve 
many moons ago. Um, and I would never have thought that this would actually end up in Poundland. But uh, I've not seen it either. So I really need to see it. Over 30 minutes of unseen footage. It's a limited edition. T2 train spotting. With a lovely slip as well. We're getting loads of lovely slips. So yes, finally got that on a, a regular Blu-ray. This one has also been ringing up on a lot of people's radars and ringing up in Poundland for 50p. Keanu Reeves, The Day the Earth, Earth Stood Still. Unfortunately, mine rung up at two quid. <laughs> ah, but you can't win everything. Fantastic. So yes, looking forward to watching that one again. That's been a long time since I've seen that one. A uh, bit of Bruce Willis, got to have The Siege, fantastic. Um, also features a few chilling scenes as well, um, with a, some emphasis on the, the World Trade Center as well. You can see down the bottom there, all, all in fire and everything in the World Trade Centers. But uh, yeah, it's one of those films that you enjoy watching, but you kind of uh, you feel kind of uncomfortable knowing exactly what you know what happened to these towers and and they're in full view you know full motion but it's still a great film so yes definitely looking forward to watching that one again and I thought I'd start kicking off my Da Vinci series again because I think I had these and I think I sold them quite a while ago I think I might have had them on Steelbook but um I remember seeing a couple of weeks ago Inferno and I never picked it up and I'm kind of kicking myself now so I might have to go out on the hunt for that one uh, because we've got Da Vinci Code, great film and Angels and Demons, another great film fantastic performance by Ewan McGregor in this one but uh, really both gripping movies and uh, yeah, unfortunately I didn't pick up Inferno, otherwise that would have kind of like completed, uh, completed the collection for now anyway, until the next one comes out. Brilliant. And the last pickup, um, a film from many years ago, back in the back in my youth in the 80s, Kiefer Sutherland, Julia Roberts. They've remade it, but I haven't seen the remake, uh, and apparently it's not really that good. I think the remake stars Elena from... The Vampire Diaries, I think. Uh, but this, uh, is some lines shouldn't be crossed. The original Flatliners, which I've not seen for many years. Fantastic. So that is my pickups and deliveries for this week. I'm quite impressed with that lot. <sighs> Blimey, Poundland was just winning this week. Fantastic. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Comment, share and uh, like the video by giving it some thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Tomorrow, Thursday, I will be announcing the winners of Shazam 4K and the Iron Man 4K box set. So the competition winners will be announced tomorrow. So look forward to finding out who's won there's been so many i think i've probably had more entries than any of my competitions ever so uh, we'll find out exactly how many unique entries there are so hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you on the next video bye i now have to try and find some shelf space bugger